Hey guitar players, how's it going? Um, a little bit different kind of video today. Um, I'll just get right to the point. Uh, I've been gaining a lot of weight and getting progressively less and less out of shape over the last year. Now there's one main reason for it, but some of the other reasons are this and this. Uh, but the main reason for it is um, the amount of effort and stress that I was putting into my job. I was putting so much effort into that and keep on progressing on the guitar, those two things, that a lot of things in my life were beginning to slide and my life was getting real out of balance. And since I had a really big um, kind of work change a couple of months ago, I was looking at like how I was spending my time. I was like, there's no reason for this anymore. I don't have a huge amount of stress in my life right now. Yeah, I'm getting uh, another business up and running off the ground from ground zero, but the stress is not the same. So I, I figured it was time for me to kind of recalibrate things have a nice reset and get really back into shape. Because I don't know, and okay, there are two main reasons for me making this video. Number one, to keep myself accountable to somebody, you guys in the community. And number two, to find out what you guys do with your free time besides guitar. Like the only other things that I do with my free time besides guitar, the main one is exercise. The other ones are spending time with my wife and uh, things like going to church and just uh, chilling out and watching YouTube videos sometimes. Um, but like you, as when you're putting a lot of time and energy into stuff, you only, I feel like you only have so much dis discipline to spread around. And I generally consider myself a fairly disciplined person, but with work, all the demands of that job, and then um, with just all the demands of keeping pushing your guitar playing with that job, finally, like, um, it started to slip. And hey, I would take it before and after pictures because I'm going to keep this up for maybe a month. This will be like a month video vlog, but. There are going to be that many videos, maybe two or three. I'll just kind of condense them. Okay, I haven't done this, I don't know, in six months, so it's not going to be pretty. Oh dear God, what have I done to myself? I think the other main reason for this is obviously I turned 40 this year, um, and things have a, a tendency to um, get tougher when you get that age. I didn't notice, I noticed that around 38 that things were tougher, but the main thing was I was working out less and less and less and less, uh, mostly because of the stress and time. But what I want to do is work out uh, three to five times a week and cut some stuff out of my life as far as food goes. Uh, the other, first one would be microbrew stuff, and the second one would be Dairy Queen and things like that. Um, normally I eat pretty well. Uh, like in the mornings I have green drink, uh, maybe a little bit orange juice to kick things off and usually I have oatmeal just plain oatmeal as You know to start my day. It's as far as I know it's good for you tomorrow Kelly to the day after that It'll be the next wonder food, but you know, it's sensible. I usually eat a pretty good lunch I'm probably gonna go to a raw vegetable diet for most of my lunches and then just a sensible dinner with my wife so um uh, Two things I'm gonna stay accountable here with you for this just to have, also just to have fun. Uh, and the second thing is what else do you guys do for fun or to entertain yourself? So you can leave that in the comments below. Uh, I'm really curious to know. And if you have any tips uh, for like working out or eating, it's always gonna be entertaining and fun to hear as well. Uh, but I have a lesson with uh, a student, a Skype lesson here at 10 o'clock in 35 minutes. But after that, I'm going to go uh, exercise. I'm probably gonna do 100 push-ups, 20 pull-ups. I have to do a lot of cal, I mean, I'm stretching kind of uh, physio too for my back, otherwise that gets really bad really quick. And then I'm gonna go for a run, which should be interesting because I've been running much lately. And it's winter in BC, which means it's gonna be cold and rainy. Actually, today's the only day for the next week that's not going to be rainy. So I'm gonna enjoy it while I can, but I do end up running in the rain most of the time in the winter and uh, sometimes in the non-winter too, but it's, I'll, I'll do that. I'll document that and let you see. You're gonna see a lot of iPhone shaking in the rain in the dark, because I like to run at night when everything else is done. Kind of helps me de-stress and detox. But like on a kind of side note to go with all this, uh, exercise is one of the main things that I feel de-stresses me. And like, it's, it's a weird effect because like the more stressed and more burnt out and more strapped for time I got the less I worked out which made me more stressed and you know so it was a really nasty cycle so I'm trying to break that and get back into uh, four to five days a week and I'll keep you posted on how it goes all right first run back at it I'm 
going to die. I'm going to kill myself. We'll see how it goes. Halfway to the park. Stop for a little rest. Turn this camera around. It's a really pretty view. I like to stop and just check it out. Even when it's raining. Don't worry to be raining tomorrow. I'll show you that. <laughs> <sighs> okay. First run done. I didn't throw up or kill over or anything like that. So that's really good. Usually I just run down to this park. It's about a mile and a half from the house. So today I'm just going to run. I ran down. I'm just going to walk back. So I don't want to overdo it. First day back into it. But I feel better than I thought it would. I thought it was going to feel like garbage. I like exercising, but like in the moment, I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this all the time. Even when I'm in kind of good shape but as soon as it's done like that feels awesome I, it's what i need in my life i really like this so i don't know maybe you're like that too but it's kind of like practicing starting practicing guitar as soon as i like the first five minutes i'm like oh I'm, i suck at what i'm doing so i don't really enjoy it that much but once those five minutes or five ten minutes once those catch my breath once those five or ten uh, initial minutes are in the bag, I start to really enjoy it because I'm like, oh, I'm feeling good. I feel like I can, can tackle some more things and get a better guitar. So it's kind of the same way with fitness for me. So didn't die. That's good. <sighs> All right, day one in the can. Uh, 90 push-ups, some stretching, 20 pull-ups, three miles run slash walking. So today is leg day. I'm not very excited about that. Never skip leg day. Otherwise, you'll go to hate it like I do. <sighs> okay, so I just finished running and it is 11.34 p.m. and the temperature outside is like negative three degrees Celsius, so whatever that is, 27 degrees Fahrenheit. But uh, this morning was the end of the first week, so I figured I'd give you an update on how things are going. I was really pleasantly surprised, kind of. Uh, here's how it went. All right, it's been one week. Uh, so let's see how things turned out. <sighs> That's not bad. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, this is the easiest part. I'm sure it'll get harder, but that's pretty good. What is that, like 11, 12 pounds, something like that? And um, I know that this was the easy week the next three weeks, because I'm gonna be doing this for a month, they're gonna be a lot harder. But um, I think part of the reason that this was so, um, successful this week was because I knew that I had to come in here and make this video at the end of the week and answer to you guys about how things went. So every time I wanted to go to Jade Queen. No, don't do it, don't do it. Every time I wanted to go grab a beer with my friends or you know just eat a burger or something, I thought about, okay, I can't do this. I gotta stick with it and it gave me the motivation I needed to really stick with it, which is really cool. Um, I think one of my, you know, all the things that I said previously in uh, the kind of the intro to this video really apply, but like one of the big things is like, I just want to have more energy and feel better so I can do more of the things I love. In my case, it's play the guitar. So again, if for your case, what are the things that you love to do most for me? Guitar and exercise, what are they for you? And you know, is your health something that's getting in the way of you doing more of those things? Yes, I'm drinking coconut water. Don't judge me. I'm not turning into a hippie. <laughs> Something has to replace all, all the negative stuff I've been putting in my body. And the big thing for me this week has been an Americano on like mid-morning. If I can, just an iced Americano gives me some entertainment value that I need. It's not many calories. And, and um, one thing that I did want to mention, I did do um, a water fast for 24 hours, which ended up being kind of hard but not as hard I'm, I'm pretty good at not at going without food for a long time so it wasn't that hard but it was harder than i thought usually when i do like a water fast for a day or two or three it's not that bad but this was more challenging this i think it's been because it's been longer since i've done one but i think i'm gonna do um for the second week i'm gonna and to keep the same thing i'm gonna keep exercising a lot of exercise four times this week i just did my first exercise for this week it was leg day and running and um so keep the exercise up keep the junk food out um, and I think I'm going to do a two-day water fast this week, hopefully Saturday and Sunday. I don't have any obligations on those days besides work and church, so 
Uh, that's what I think I'm gonna try to do this week. It's going great. Uh, hopefully I can keep it up and make uh, some more lifestyle changes instead of just, you know, like a month of living cleanly and we'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments below what are the things that you love most besides playing guitar. 